Hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and you've got courtside seats for my review of anything for Jackson. Let's do it. Anything for Jackson is a horror film from director Justin G. Dick and Vortex Media. The movie stars Sheila McCarthy, Julian Richings, Constantina Mantelos, and Josh Crudis. Two elderly Satanists kidnap a pregnant woman with the intent of using incantations from a millennia-old book of satanic verse to use the woman's unborn child as a vessel to resurrect their dead grandson, Jackson. So welcome back to my ongoing coverage of Fantasia Festival. Today, it's Anything for Jackson. Now, I really like supporting Canadian cinema, particularly when it's good. And not only is this movie good, it's my favorite movie of the festival so far. The acting in this film is wonderful. Sheila McCarthy, who I don't think anyone would give me trouble for referring to as Canadian cinema royalty. She's just fabulous, as is Julian Richings as her husband, Henry. I'm not at all familiar with Constantina Mantelos, but I thought she was great in here as well. I was a little unsure of Josh Crudis's Ian, best described as a satanic guru. He was a little cartoony and kind of what I'd imagine my mom would imagine of a satanic guru, but that didn't make it a bad performance. And this movie is genuinely scary at times. Maybe it's because I watch a lot of horror movies, but there are a lot of moments in here that were clearly setting up a scare. But even armed with that certainty, it didn't take the bite out of it. And while it does rely on jump scares occasionally, it mostly employs atmosphere, a lot of clever dialogue that leaves a lot unsaid, and just ghastly ideas and imagery to make us feel off. There's one character that could have easily been done with visual effects, but I would swear on my mother's name, she probably wouldn't like me bringing her up twice for a movie like this, but here we are, that they just hired a contortionist and the results speak for themselves. There's also some good but weird humor in here, intentional or not, although I imagine it was intentional. A group of Satanists hold their I don't know, Satanist anonymous meetings in a local library. I thought that was hilarious. And during a particularly dark and heavy scene, one character makes a phone call to another character, and that other character I'm pretty sure was wearing a Tim Hortons uniform. That was even funnier. There are hints of The Exorcist, Rosemary's Baby, and Hereditary in here. And for me, there's also just a delight in such dark premises taking place in suburban Ontario. The movie is dark, it's funny, it's brutal, it's genuinely scary. But there's an emotional undercurrent here that I think most of us would be able to connect with, and it's particularly channeled through Sheila McCarthy's performance. If you're into possession or exorcism movies, even though this one puts quite a twist on it, I absolutely recommend Anything for Jackson. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna give Anything for Jackson. And I think I'm gonna give Anything for Jackson a... Satan. Out of 10. So now I wanna know, are you looking forward to Anything for Jackson? What is your favorite possession movie of all time? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Check back soon for more Fantasia Fest coverage. Hope you guys are all safe and healthy. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Take care.